Tracy here with Paper Closet Designs. In today's video, we have a project that we're going to work on. So I have two separate files. Um, we've done both of these before, but we're going to go ahead and do these two because they go together so well. So the first one that we have is we have the Happy Birthday Curvy card. This is a 5x7 card and it fits in a 5x7 envelope. And I do have the envelopes as well. Oops, that's not it. That's too big. But I do have them. Um, and these will fit it. And then we also have the tall shopping bag. And this one also says happy birthday. So I'm going to slide the bendy card or the curvy card off. And we're going to go ahead and assemble the happy birthday. I don't know if you saw the one that I did with the candle. So this, whoops, there's our little tag that fell off. This is, um, I'm going to measure it. It's eight inches tall by three inches across. I also have a smaller one. And this one is three and a, three and almost a half, not quite three and a half inches across and about five inches tall. And then this goes together the same exact way. So let me show you what you have with it and then we'll go ahead and assemble it. So you have this happy birthday and it is three layers and the, the letters are cut out of different colors. You can cut them out of all one solid color if you want to. It would be really fun to cut these out of some printed pattern paper and mix them up a little bit. But there's three layers. Then we have our printable tag and a tag that goes behind it. We have the embellishment panel, and then we also have the bag itself. So I'm going to start with the happy birthday. So I'm gonna slide this off. We've got the background, which I cut out of red, and then we have a white, and I don't know how well that shows up on my white table, but we have a white, and then we have the individual letters. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue these individual letters on here first. And I may speed up the video, or I may not. Um, and they just fit on that white background. And they're big enough you know what, I'm actually gonna put it back on here because it's easier to see when it's on the pink or the red. They are big enough that they will cut just fine with your machine. They're not gonna have any problems with it. And the shadow behind it is big enough that if they don't line up, or if you don't put them on there absolutely perfect, it's gonna look fine because the shadow's big enough. Nobody's gonna say, oh, that's too much to one side or something else. It'll just be good. Okay, so there's our happy. And then let's do birthday. I do like using this smaller quill bottle or paper paper quilling bottle um, with a smaller tip. And you can just get that at almost any store. Michael's, Joann's, Hobby Lobby, Amazon. And then fill it with your favorite glue. I like the Scotch, Scotch Create Tacky Glue. That's what mine is. But there are lots of other glues out there that people like too and they all work. I just wouldn't do this with a glue stick. You'll curse it. I don't think people do that anymore, but every once in a while, I'll have somebody say, I'm using a glue stick and everything's falling off. Mm-hmm. I buy glue sticks at the back to school sale, and I have them around for when my grandkids come over and want to play. And then they can not make a mess. But that is about the only time I use glue sticks. OK. 
Okay, so let's slide that to the side. There's our happy birthday. While I've got the glue out, I'm gonna go ahead and glue my to you to the tag. And if you don't want it to say to you, you can delete that saying, put something else on there, um, or just leave it blank and write your own on there. Okay, so set this aside. We're gonna take our bag and we are going to score it. So I'm gonna score everything down towards the table. There's a tab right here. And then we have four tabs along the bottom. And then we have this middle that has three score lines and over here on the edge. So on this first one, we're gonna fold it down or do a mountain fold. Score or fold it away from you. The next one, we're gonna score up, fold it up towards us. And there's a score line across, and I don't know how well that shows on the screen, and then like a Y on the bottom. Okay, and then we're gonna take the next one and we're gonna score it down. And if that middle one's giving you grief, <clears throat> score the two that go down first and then come back and get that middle one. Okay, and then on this last one, we have the two score lines. The first one's gonna go down. And the second one is gonna go up. Until you get to the Y. Okay. All right, so now let's go ahead and glue that on there. We're gonna take our decorative panel and I'm just gonna put some glue on it. And then in the other video, I did take some glue and put it along the top just to hold that down. It's too small for my tape runner. Just glue that in between all the score lines. And now we can go ahead and fold this. So I'm gonna put tape along this edge right here this long edge. Then I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna put tape on the two longer tabs but not on the two shorter tabs. Let's get that one good. And then when we fold this over, we can fold this one and it'll just match up right along there. And then when we flip it up to the bottom, you're going to take those two small tabs that don't have any glue and put them down first, glue them or fold them down first. Then take your back tab, fold it over. It's got glue on the inside, so it's gonna stick to those two tabs. And then fold this one over, and it's got glue on the inside, and it'll stick to that last tab. And if they're not, and you need just a little bit of help, open that up, take a ruler, and just kind of press against the table to get that on there. So there's your bag, and you can kind of fold it up like that. It's really long. Now let's go back to our happy birthday. So I'm gonna make this really layered. I'm gonna flip this over, and I'm going to take some foam and pop it up. We're probably gonna have to do a few pieces. Let's get three more. I like to do the edges and the middle. And if you have the foam pop dots, those will work too. I just like to buy it off of the, the round thing. Okay, we're gonna pull those off. and then we will tape it to this background piece. So line it up as best you can, but remember it doesn't have to be perfect. There's enough edge that it doesn't need to be perfect. And then I'm also going to put foam on the back of this. I hope I can hear my dog bark and wonder what's going on. I think there's a cat in the tree. Our neighbors have a cat and he does not like the cat. 
All right. Remove those. Kind of got a collection going over here of little tabs. And then you can decide which way you want it to run. I like to do it this way, just kind of put it right there in the middle. And then you can tie your little tag on there, fill it up with a candy bar or some treats, maybe a thin pair of socks or some money, some gift cards, so fun. Okay, so that is the box. Now let's go ahead and do the curvy card that matches it. Like I said, this is a five by seven. This one does have a few pieces, and so it's gonna take you a minute, but it's not hard. And I have done other curvy cards, curvy cards. So let's go ahead and get this one started. I will show you what comes with this as well. So we have a little printable that says celebrate you. The front piece has probably, I was gonna say the most pieces, but Maybe not. So the front piece has two candles. One of them is two layered. One of them is solid. And then your two layered flame. It has two stars. It has the front piece that goes behind your label or your sentiment. And then you have your cupcake and it has lots of layers too. So the frosting has two layers. The cupcake liner has two layers, and then there's your little cupcake. And all the rest of the pieces are cut out on your tap. Or, yeah, your, your tap. And this has two score lines. So we're gonna fold those score lines down. And while I have all of those pieces, I am going to go ahead and assemble this first tap. So I'm gonna start by adding the decorative panel. And then I'm going to glue my little layered pieces together. So I need to take the stripes on my candle and it is kind of little again, but totally doable. I cut this out with my machine and didn't have any problems. And then I'm gonna glue it to the solid rectangle that it goes behind, or goes behind it, just like that. Then I need to glue my flame, and I am missing a flame. There should be two flames. Uh-oh. Maybe it fell on the floor. Or, oh, there it is. I see it. So we're going to go ahead and glue this. And my other flame is right up here by the balloon. And if you have big fingers, I kind of do too, I'm struggling with this, you can use a pair of tweezers. But even those little tiny flame pieces are gonna cut out just fine. Okay, then we're gonna glue the flame to this background on the tab. And this one. And now we can glue the candles. You wanna make sure that this piece is on first, this, <coughs> excuse me, this decorative panel, because the candles are gonna actually go over the top of it. So there's our layered candle, and then here's our solid piece. Just like that. Okay, next we're gonna do our cupcake. So the cupcake liner goes on first. So we're gonna glue, well, let's see if we glue it on here first. There we go. 
and then glue this piece on. Then we're gonna take our little cupcake, the actual chocolate part of the cupcake. You could make it vanilla if you wanted to, or strawberry. I'm gonna glue that on there. Then we're going to glue the solid frosting piece. I don't know if you can see that or not, but the cupcake just barely shows through. There's not a ton of cupcake on there but you'll still want it. And then the piece with the polka dots. And this is your confetti. Okay, let's finish by putting our Celebrate You on in the middle. And then we have two stars and you could just glue those directly on if you wanted to. But um, you know me, I need my pop dots. So there's one, I might have cut that a little bit too big. And the second one. So there is the first or the front layer of our curvy card. Okay, the next piece of our curvy card has all of the um, happy birthday letters again on two layers, just like our box did, and the tab. So this one has four score lines. It has two tabs and two in the middle. So we're gonna fold on that one. We're gonna fold that one. Fold that one, we're folding all of these down. And let's set that to the side and let's go ahead and do our happy birthday. We're just gonna glue those on there. On the card, I did this with, or excuse me, on the box, I did this with foam pop dots. On this one, I am not going to do that because there's a lot of layers on here already. So we're just gonna go ahead and put glue on the back. And glue it right to this. And then we need to glue it to our tab. But I'm gonna hold off and do that in a minute. So we're gonna set that to the side and then we'll do the back of the card. So the back of the card has the back, it has two balloons. So with the balloons, there is a background and then there's the actual balloon so that the little shadow shows through and there is a piece of string. The string is not gonna show too much. So if you don't wanna worry about that little piece, you don't actually have to, but it's there if you want to. And then we have our, uh, our back, and it has a score line, and it has two um, placement lines. So these two lines right here are placement lines. I am gonna score this, but I'm more, more just gonna bend it than anything. Okay, so now what we need to do is we want to put our balloons on here. So I'm going to glue the front balloon to that white piece. And then glue it to the card so that it's kind of at an angle. And then if you want to use your string And the string are kind of tiny. 
I'm just gonna glue it right under there. Okay, we'll do the same thing with this other balloon. So this is such a fun card. There are a lot of little pieces to it, but it's so fun, it's worth it, I think. I'm gonna glue that one right there. And then glue the string to it as well. And now we are ready to assemble our card. Whoa, 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 sorry. Okay, so next up, we're going to take this middle piece and we are going to put tape on the two tabs. We want to fold those tabs in and we are going to line them up so that the bottom is along the bottom of the card and the folded edge is right along those two score lines or placement lines. Just like that. And then this tab should be right in the middle. Before I add the happy birthday, I'm gonna kind of layer this and figure out where I want my happy birthday how high up I want it. So we are gonna put glue just on this tab alone. We're not gonna put it on the back of the purple card or anywhere else, and we're not gonna do it all the way down. We're just gonna go to where the, we want the bottom of our sign to be. And then we're gonna add that. And that way it pops open when we open the card. Make sure that that is stuck, it is. Okay, now we're going to take this middle one or this last piece and we've got the tabs. We're gonna put tape on those two tabs. Fold them down and they go right across so the bottom lines up at the bottom of the card and the edges line up on the edges. Just like that. And there is your card. It's hard to see it when it's laying down, but so it, it doesn't fold in half. It goes into the envelope. So it goes into a five by seven envelope this is the Christmas one, so we'll just take that off. And it goes in flat. And then when the receiver gets it, they open it up, they pull it out, and there is their card. They can just bend it and stand it up. You have lots of room on the back if you wanna write a little message, put some stickers, decorate it up. But that is how the curvy cards work. So such a fun little birthday gift for someone special. A birthday card in a bag with some little treats in it. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up. Hit subscribe down below so that you don't miss any of my videos. And have a great day.